Do, 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 do. Hi, I'm Monica Kinner. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to show you today how I manage my yarns. I like to do embroidery with yarn. Um, so I buy lots of balls of yarn and I cut them all up. That's the first thing I do. So if you are a knitter, you might want to sit down for this. <laughs> Sometimes when I do workshops, um, as soon as I get out the scissors and something like this, there's this noise in the room and it's kind of like, oh! <laughs> and those are the knitters because I know, I know. Um, it, it hurts to do this, but this is what the first thing I do when I get a ball of yarn is I cut it, I chop it up. So this beautiful Malabrigio yarn, beautiful, beautiful yarn. It's hand painted or hand dyed from Uruguay. Um, so I chop it first and then I make skeins with it and I set the skeins into uh, colorways in Ziplocs or in clear bins so I can easily find the color I need. I will take a section, depending on the thickness of the yarn, sometimes more or less. Um, this is as long as I need it uh, because this is as far as I can reach when I'm stitching, right? So that's why I like to pre-cut them because then I can just grab the lengths I need and just begin stitching. So you fold it in half and then you twist and then you put your thumb in the middle and you let go and it twists. Isn't that awesome? And I just pop it through that loop that I had and it holds, it holds the shape for me. So I'm just going to keep making a couple more so you can see that again. Hold it in half and then twist. You don't have to twist too tight just until like I don't think I can go any further. So that's where I'll fold it and then release it and then pull that through, pull the cut end through the loop. See, just so it holds it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, the other thing I want to show you, so I'll do that till the whole skein's gone and then I, there you go, here's my pieces, right, that I can use. Um, to choose from. I started taking apart these Noro yarns as well and this is what I get so far. I take this off the ball, straight off the ball, I don't open it up and cut it because it's already a ball as opposed to a large skein. Um, and when the yarn changes I cut it and I make another skein and then it started to turn blue so I kept going until the white was gone, cut it, made a skein, kept going until I got this teal color and now the yarn's turning quite greeny gray. So I put it in a bucket because it's the easiest way for me to um, take the yarn off without letting it roll or fall on the floor. And I wind it this way, just the old fashioned way, which is perfect because this length, if I was to cut it here, this length unfolded is the perfect length for me to stitch with. So. No need to have it longer than I'm ever going to stitch with, right? So it's um it's quite an artful yarn, this stuff. There's a lot of colors in it and a lot of flecks and pieces and there we go, tie a little knot with the ends. So it, it comes apart easy, so you have to be a little more gentle with it when you're stitching with it. So and I do the same thing, just twist it until it feels tight on my fingers and then I do the same thing and pull it through. So there it is. So there's my next color. This one's quite black which is awesome to stitch with. Black with little flecks of color in it. And, and you just kind of watch, see there it's turning really green. Maybe even one back it up a little bit there. That looks like that's where the black is ending. Wrap it around. Tie a little knot and then do the twist. Uh, let's do the twist. I'm not really here to sing. There you go. Oops. Fix it out there. And this one's really black. This is awesome. It's like a black green which is a really hard color to find. So there you go. And I'll just keep going and I'll get so some nice uh, forest green, emerald green, and then it's going to turn this um, grayish purple. There's colors that I learn, right? Like greeny red. There's such a color. <laughs> um, 
I don't know what this is called. Burnt umber, maybe, with a bit of gray, and then it turns, I don't know, lavenderish gray, and then it turns fuchsia purple grapeish. I don't know, and then it turns kind of teal, tealy blacky purple. Um, but it's really great, right? Because in one ball of this yarn, I can get so many colors, maybe. 10 skeins of color out of that instead of having to buy 10 balls of yarn so Nora was absolutely fantastic for that so and I'll keep going until I have all my colors all out like this and then I can arrange them right so I'll put these ones in one bin I'll put my my pinks in another my blues will all go here this is kind of green my orange don't have a lot of orange oh there's some orange that I can retwist from before so that'll go in one Ziploc so having all these colors in a Ziploc is great too because then I can just see what I have at a glance it's wonderful oh look reddish purple see <laughs> that's kind of cool so there you go there's my yarns um, I hope you enjoyed that I hope you're inspired to go uh, twist up all your yarns and get them all, all neat and easy access right so so, so you have more time to stitch and less time untangling things. Um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and share it on Facebook. That would be really great. Um, and I'll see you around. See you next time.